This video will cover the topic, Expanding a Logarithmic Expression, Problem Type 2. How do we expand logarithmic expressions? There are certain properties of logarithms that can be used to expand a logarithmic expression. Three important properties that we will be using to solve problems of this type are the logarithm product rule, logarithm quotient rule, and the logarithm power rule. The logarithm product rule says that the base b logarithm of x times y is equal to the base b logarithm of x plus the base b logarithm of y. The logarithm quotient rule says that the base b logarithm of x divided by y is equal to the base b logarithm of x minus the base b logarithm of y. The logarithm power rule says that the base b logarithm of x to the y power is equal to y times the base b logarithm of x. We can use these properties to solve problems where we have to expand logarithmic expressions. Okay, this seems to all make sense to me. Can we try out an example problem? Definitely. In this problem, we are asked to use the properties of logarithms to expand the logarithm of the square root of x times y to the fifth power divided by z to the third power. Wait, this logarithm has a square root in it, and none of the properties that we have learned about had that in there. What do we do? Remember that taking the square root of something is the same thing as raising something to the one-half power. Knowing this, we can rewrite our logarithmic expression in this way. Now that the expression is being raised to the one-half power, we can use the power rule to expand the expression. Doing so, we have one-half times the logarithm of x times y to the fifth power, divided by z to the third power. We aren't done just yet, though. This expression can be expanded even more. We can use a logarithm quotient rule to expand the expression in this way. We now want to expand the logarithm of x times y to the fifth power by using the logarithm product rule. Doing so, our expression will now look like this. Do you have any ideas on what we should do next? Well, I see that there are two logarithms with exponents remaining, and we can use a logarithm power rule to expand those. Doing so, our expression will now look like this. That's right. Our final step is to distribute the one-half outside of the parentheses. Doing so, we have reached our final answer. Okay, I think I understand what is going on here. To expand a logarithmic expression, we have to remember the logarithm product, quotient, and power rules. With these properties, we can rewrite logarithmic expressions in expanded form. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher.